All right guys, so welcome back. Now we're getting into October, getting close to late October. Uh, the wind has been just tough. This weekend is also gonna be really bad. Uh, I'm gonna try and get out in this really short weather window, you know, Saturday morning, and probably got like two hours of no wind and no rain. And by like 9, 10 a.m., that's it, the wind comes, the rain will come. That's it, that's all we got time for. But who knows, you never know what can happen. So we're going, giving it a shot. We're gonna really fish for blackfish mostly because I got crabs, I wanna use them up. And you know, blackfish is one of those things that's just kinda easier to do in a two hour window. Uh, I'll look for bass a little bit. You know, I actually got my first uh, striped bass tag back. So I caught one in August in these local waters and someone else caught them in this month october same fish and generally the same bay so um yeah maybe they came in in august and just you know stayed here they came early in august and then they stayed here and now you know they're starting to make their way out but that's why tagging is pretty cool when you get one back it really does make you want to uh do a little bit more so that was the first one I got back. And I've been doing it, not that consistently, but I've been tagging for over like, you know, two years now. Let's see if we can find some, some togs, some blackfish. I'm gonna tag one here too. It's all catch and release today. Starting off the day right. I'm also feeling a little sick. I'm trying to get my vegetables. Probably got three dozen crabs, so Let's see if we can get through all these. As it as the current picks up, I'll move to a more sheltered spot, but this is a good spot to start. Right, let's see. So crazy how quickly. Gotta be ready because sometimes the big fish come in the very beginning. Ooh. Alright. So we have just fed our first blackfish. I think I'm using about a five eighth ounce, I wanna say. I know it's kind of a strange fraction, but I remember getting that size. Bean style jig. Oh, somebody's on it. I'm snagged, but let me see if a fish will get me out. Oyster toad. These things are pretty cool. Look at that thing. Don't don't want to get your hands in there. Pretty sure they can crack oyster shells. Open wide. All right. Leave the whole crab shell on. We gotta be super careful here. There's so much snags. Oh, that's a sharp tap. Really, I think the only thing gonna cause me to leave this spot is just the current's gonna get too strong. It's picking up by the minute. Getting some really good bites though.
they really are a slippery fish. So I, what I do is I'm letting my line down slowly to get beyond the snag because I think there's a snag like right here. Getting in the right direction, getting slightly bigger. Oh my gosh. Try a whole crab. Whole crab, no legs. Oh my gosh. It's like, huh? Knowing I have a whole crab here, though, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Oh. Feels decent. Oh. Man, these little fish can pull. This is a nice female. It's a better one. I'm stuck pretty good. Got him out. <laughs> that was crazy. It's so funny how these fish will help me get unstuck. <laughs> it's so funny. You just gotta be patient. to move spots soon, I think. Just a little too quick. Look how far I'm scoping, it's not good. I think I want to move. Ooh. So many little bites. Oh, that was not a big, that was not a small bite. Snap me off. Dang. Wow, you had me in there good. Problem with that one is I just had let it get out too far, too too far scope. And when he took it, my leader wasn't long enough, and it scraped up against the surface of the of the structure down there. Alright, so I'm gonna move over to this little area. Just because the current's too strong over there. This is a danger zone too. 
because it's probably going to be pretty silly with eight pound test. They are so hungry. Look at this guy. Probably only like 14. It's gonna be a real challenge to get a big one out of here. Oh my gosh. to a bright color. I like bright colors. I have seen video though, my underwater video where the blackfish were actually looking like at the jig head itself. So I'm not sure. I think I'm going to put it over here a little bit more. Someone got me unstuck. Thank you. Oh man, this is such a danger zone. I kind of like the danger. Oh, you can keep that crab. Man, she fully had the jig in her mouth. what it is though. It's not the tap, it's the pull. Oh my gosh. These fish are so hyped right now. Like the exact, exact same hook set. I'm gonna try a whole crab. Just like that.
some good bites, but not yet. This is good that we had a bunch of little taps, and then we stop feeling anything. Could be a big one has gotten interest. Whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's what I say. Oh, my gosh. Port fin. It's a really nice female. That jig worked. That presentation, I'm waiting it out. She's 18 and a half. Call her 18 and a half. Oh, terrible release. <laughs> terrible release, but at least we got the tag in her. I don't think there's another big one around here, but I'm gonna try. Usually, I don't catch too many big ones in the same spot. What I think happens down there is like, that presentation is just a little too big for the small ones to grab. So the big one sees it. Sees all the commotion and says, you know, I can handle that. Let me check it out first. You know, take a pass, circle it a little more. And if you're patient enough, her curiosity or his curiosity will just be too great and they will, they will hit it. I think the tide has to be right too though because I have seen like big fish looking at baits and just not doing anything. was a big smart female though. You can tell she's been around with her cut tail like that and stuff. She's just small fish. Oh, doesn't feel that heavy. It's a good fish. Nice male. Nice male. Probably 14. a good hit. Let's try with the shell on. Oh, look at those taps. Look at that. See, like, you don't want it bouncing. The bouncing, you want it pulling and, like, the rod staying, staying down. They ate me. 
They're getting super smart. Pretty sure I gotta try a new area. I think we should move. Yeah, I'm gonna move. We caught that big one. Let's move. All right, guys, so it's starting to drizzle. I'm gonna head back. It's still only gonna pick up. It's only 8.15, so I didn't get the two hours, but that's all right. We caught a nice keeper, tagged her. The big lesson there was just how the bite is very hot. You're going catching shorts, then all of a sudden, like, put a little bigger presentation on, and the bites are there, but they're not as hot and heavy. And then they're kind of really, like, slow all of a sudden. You just gotta be patient, because there could be a big one, you know, that's getting more interested. I do really like that close combat fight. You got to get back where the cameras get wet. Really good time. It's been a pretty good blackfish season so far. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep getting out. All right, see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.